Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now back in support. Okay, so after the rally we had, which was not sustainable or was not sustained, Bitcoin could not maintain a position above, um, yeah, above the support area. Uh, we're now coming down again and it's now likely we're testing 56,280, which is the next Fibonacci support level. The overall situation on the chart has not changed. We continue to be in a range, okay? Um, and a few more things I wanna highlight. First of all, there's a reason why I highlighted to you already days ago, every day pretty much for the last, I don't know, three or four days that we are in a sideways range and that we have to expect further chaotic price action. So Fred, I also highlighted the fragility of the current pattern, given that we are moving in corrective structures in a, let's say diagonal pattern, yeah, or in, even in a correction. Um, at best in a diagonal pattern, but it's starting to get extremely messy. So the idea would be from a bullish point of view that this is a wave one, this is a wave two, so it hasn't changed at all. Then this could be an A wave and this could be the B wave with a C wave rally to come. But um, the confirmation that we are in wave C is a one, two setup, which holds higher low. So we need a first wave up and the wave two down, basically a first rally and a higher low. Now, as you can see, we had a rally again as response to our support region, but there hasn't been a higher low. And because the price is now back in support, it's likely that we're testing 56,280. From the rally that we've seen today, and our gold members did get that notification, the first signal that a top was formed here was a break below, I think it was 59,300, yeah. So the update that came out before we topped here was um, possible micro count, a break below the 59,300 level could be an early signal that a price top of source has formed. So that could have been a time to maybe secure profits or maybe even go short. And then what we saw then was very rapid price action. So I tried to keep up uh, giving some ideas what could happen. And we then talked about possibly a one, two setup that this was the wave two pullback that we were watching for after the price broke below 59,300, but it happened like literally just in within 10 minutes, happened so quickly that it caused me to put out a message uh, that I don't expect support to hold yeah, based on the look of the correction. Um, and yeah, it didn't hold essentially. So we are now back in the larger support area and it's likely as per the last update here, which I also published on Twitter, Bitcoin is likely to test 56,280. At the time, the price was at 57,880 and we're now, well, nearly there. We're now at 57K. Now, obviously market price action is quite chaotic. Um, things can move quite quickly in this price range. If you're interested in the latest updates, yeah, check out the gold membership. Um, it is exactly for those, mo you know, for those moments um, to give you a little bit of orientation, even though sometimes crypto moves so quickly that, you know, it's hard to keep up, right? But overall, I think it's important to understand that we are still in a sideways range. All the levels, and it's really about the levels, as I often say, it's not about the wave count. It's about the levels. I say it again and again and again all the time. A lot of you know that. It's not about the wave counts, it's about the levels. The levels are only a roadmap, but the levels are there to make trading decisions. You can integrate them into your trading plan, but you still have to make those decisions on your own. So whether, for example, you took some profits when the price broke below 59,300 or you went short, that would be depending on your trading plan, on your risk profile, on your time frame. Some people might not have done anything. There's no right or wrong here. Um, essentially, it just is part of your own trading plan. But the, the main takeaway is the levels are important and 56,280 is still the key support level here in the local range. As I said to you as well, it's weak support. It's weak support. So any break below that would not be particularly surprising. Um, it's not even surprising that we're back in support, given that I mentioned the fragility of the structure. Okay, very, very important. So that means we just have to be extra cautious in this range. Um, below 56,280, we're dealing with the invalidation point of the diagonal pattern to the upside. That is at 54,600 
also nothing new. So the levels haven't changed for, I don't know, for a week or so. Um, I have added, however, one more support, which is 51,900, uh, which is, and then take the other one out, which is here for a larger one to set up. It's a, it's a weak support level. It's basically Hopium Wave Count um, support, but it is just another FIP support at 51,900. If we break below 56,000 to 80, and 54,600. However, any break below 54,600 will mean that I will assume we're heading down into the mid 40K region in the yellow wave count, yeah? But again, all of that shouldn't be anything new. We talked about that before, talked about the levels before, talked about the scenarios before. They haven't changed because for the last five, six, seven days, we've really only been moving in a range. And in a range, the levels typically don't change. The levels only change when we get the first five waves, um, for example, to the upside, when we break out of the range and we have a reason to adjust support levels, which so far, well, we haven't done because there was no need. So that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership also. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.